Now that we've installed Autodesk Moldflow 2012 Synergy, we can move on to installing the Autodesk Moldflow Insight 2012 solvers. Much like Synergy installation, please launch the install wizard from either the DVD menu or from the executable that you downloaded from the subscription center and launch the, the application by hitting the next button. Again, please review the licensing agreement and choose that you accept this agreement before moving on to the next page. Here, much like the Synergy installation, we'll be prompted to input the serial number as well as the product key. The big difference with respect to Synergy versus the solver installation is the use of the product key. The product key is important as it will indicate the functionality to be installed with the solvers. So for example, if you put in a basic product key, you will only have access to basic functionality. Any types of functionality that exceed basic, such as performance level functionality and advanced level functionality, will not work even if you have a license for them. So therefore it is imperative that you utilize the highest level product key available for your licenses. That way if you have one basic, one performance, and one advanced, you would use the advanced key so you could have access to all of them. In this case, for the, this example, I will use the advanced product key. Again, messages will indicate whether or not these inputs are valid or invalid. They must both be valid before you're, you'll be able to move on to the next page. Now you'll notice as we've already installed Synergy, you will not be prompted to enter in the information for License Manager or the ability to install it locally on this machine. That, that information has already been configured and you'll notice that this box to specify the server has been grayed out, so we simply can move to the next page. Same thing goes for the installation path. As we've already installed the user interface, we can't modify where the installation path is. We can't split where the solvers are installed and where the user interface is installed. So again, this is no longer modifiable. It will indicate the amount of disk space required, move on to the next page, and it will jump straight into the details for the installation. As we already installed the .NET updates as well as the installation directories, all it's going to indicate to you is where that destination is and you can simply select the install option and the installation for the Autodesk Moldflow 2012 solvers will begin.